JD, 2 1 win over Newton Aircliffe this afternoon. What a cracking cup tie that was, a real battle out there. Came through in the end, what were your thoughts? Um, we knew it was going to be tough. It's obviously they're, they're a good team, you get a very good team. Um, and you put that, combine that with a cup game, which couldn't be even, even tough. I think they're a good cup team, cup team as well. Um, so we had to be good. I don't think we've been as, as good today as we have been over the last probably four or five weeks. Mostly probably with the chances that we missed today. Um, we probably could have, could have scored three or four that we had really good chances that we should have done better with. Um, but it's a cliche, isn't it? With the cup, you, you've got to win. And delight for Fowler to come off the bench and do that and great finish. Yeah, I mean, once we took the lead um, through Josh Scott early on, um, did we think it was going to be a, a sort of breeze? And then second half, he had a big chance to make it 2 0, and Newton Aycliffe came back into the game. And I think the match just physically more than any other side has done in recent weeks. Yeah. Um, I think Josh's second chance, which came quite quickly after his goal, I think if that goes in and keeps it, saves it really well, um, I think then at 2-0 maybe it's different, but like I said, it's a credit to them as well. They're a really good bunch of lads to stick together, work hard for each other, they're never beaten. Um, and they deserve their goal from their hard work really, more than anything. They didn't create an awful lot of chances, but they stayed in the game. Um, so they, they deserve that on the work rate. But Overall, I think, we, I think we deserve the win, really. Yeah, Michael Fowler, um, obviously Josh Scott's come in, but I think his game's come on. He's scored a few goals recently. That was an excellent goal to win it for us today. Yeah, well, Josh has had a little bit of a kick there. And he's in really good form, obviously, since we've signed him. He's, I think it's five now, isn't it? Five goals for him. And Fowler's benefiting from it as well, because he's giving him a lift and pushing him. Um, as we've said, with the, with the other strikers as well, sometimes they might not be playing directly down the middle, but they are linking up really well and they're close to to Josh as well and he's got himself a, a winner today which is huge for his confidence and, and he deserved it on the strike. And has it pleased you that we've been able to win in a way where you've had to dig deep and come through it there? Yeah, because it, it's one of them where they, that team scores because we've, we've missed chances and, they, and they've brought it back to one all and then you think they're on, they're on the up at that point and if they score again it, it, it's going to be very difficult to come back and, and come back and draw the game but to be fair, I thought we defended excellently. It was only that one, the one chance that we had, which we, we got caught out of shape a little bit and allowed the cross to come in and, and didn't mark as it came in. After that, I think we defended excellently. I think the two second halves were superb. Both full backs were excellent. Hags hasn't had a lot to do. Um, but I think the, the, the differences from previous games is we, we missed a, a few chances that we probably should have got. And Kev Hayes coming under the troops there. Didn't do, didn't have that much. Involvement in the game, but had a shot towards the end. But just find his feet back in the side there. Yeah, definitely. It's it's find the pace of the game again, isn't it? And he's only been in a couple of training sessions because we've had to wait for things to heal. Um, but he's, he's had himself a decent shot on target. And sometimes his pitch is a little sticky. You know, he gets stuck under your feet. Once he gets going again in the next couple of weeks, he'll be he'll be back on top form, no doubt. Yeah, and FA Trophy through the second round for the first time. It's opened up, got a little bit exciting. National League North teams in the next round. Yeah. Looking forward to the draw Monday. Yeah, we'll probably get Charlie or Scunthorpe or somebody that's <laughs> at the top of that league. So, um, no, it's really good to be in that competition. Obviously, we know the smaller version of that, the Vars, how much that meant to us. Um, and obviously what we did in that, it'd be nice to, to go as far as we possibly could in the competition. Obviously, you know, the teams that are in it are really tough to play and National League involved in it as well. It's going to be difficult, but you never know, um, we're a good team, we're, good. we're playing really, really well, so it's good to keep the season going and stuff like this, definitely. And a chance now to rest and recuperate, no midweek game, and another home game next week against Matlock, how are you feeling about that one? Yeah, we haven't had a uh, chance to train twice in a week for a while, so it'll give us a chance to do things that clubs want to do, where they want to rest, but then want to work on things. Um, give us a chance to get Kevin to training sessions too this week, Josh got to a training sessions, which is good for them. Um, see where we are with others like sort of Leachy and um, Shane who are not that far away um, but we know Matlock have massively improved from their start of the season they've, they've turned things around with the points that they've been getting lately so that's going to be a real tough game again but I, I fancy us to, to do well I think we're excellent at home and we're playing really really well we're creating a lot of chances we look solid so I look forward to it and just a final question, obviously managed by Ryan Questwell, who uh, was the manager at Sheffield FC. Do you yeah. think there'll be any sort of similarities to how they played? Um, 
we'll just have to go and see. I suppose it depends on the players that he's got and the style of play that he wants to get out with him. Whether he's a manager that has his own style of play and just plays that way, or does he look at the players that he's got and see how he can get the best out of them? So we, we'll have a good look at them this week and see what they've been like.